a thank you to all of our colleagues for their incredible leadership on the issue of uh, uh, pushing for free, fair, transparent, open elections uh, in Honduras. There's an easy escape valve out of this whole drama that Zelaya has cooked up, and that is to hold these free and fair elections, something that the Obama administration and the, uh, the Clinton State Department do not want to adhere to. Uh, these elections were uh, already scheduled. The candidates had already been selected in a free process. In fact, uh, the folks who will uh, be handling the election process is not the pre present government, but in a separate electoral tribunal. And we had members of that tribunal come to speak to us uh, uh, just last week. Yesterday, we held uh, another series, another one of our briefings, uh, this time from U.S. business owners in Honduras. We do have a lot of U.S. Uh, uh, interest in Honduras. It's a free, uh, democratic country. Why we are doing uh, the, everything possible to turn them against the United States, uh, heaven only knows. Uh, the Supreme Court decided that Zelaya had violated uh, the articles of the Constitution, so he was no longer able to execute his duties as president. Uh, and now we have this situation where uh, Senators Kerry and, and Chairman uh, Berman uh, respective members of the uh, uh, Foreign uh, Relations uh, Committee, they write to the uh, uh, Law Library of Congress uh, saying uh, uh, this report was not fair. Now, as, as uh, uh, a member of Congress who serves a, a very large uh, uh, section of uh, the uh, Cuban-American population in the United States, I can't tell you the number of times we've had CRS reports and Law Library reports come out to say uh, 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 that they are against the U.S. policy uh, or that they don't think that this policy has been effective because of this reason or that reason. I've not written to that, uh, the, the, the head of those uh, uh, of the library to say, oh, how, how, uh, how faulty you are in this, even though I, I think it. Uh, but in this case, I mean, the, the Kerry and Berman are absolutely wrong in the points that they bring up. And that's why I am circulating a, uh, a letter to the Librarian of Congress, Mr. Uh, James Billington, saying uh, let's not censor the, uh, uh, the Library of Congress, uh, let's not censor the Law Library, let's not censor this uh, entire um, procedures that have lasted uh, so well uh, for such a long time. And I hope that we get some members to sign on to this letter. But uh, more than anything, I want the, uh, uh, the Obama administration to rectify their wrongs and to say that uh, we will uh, see that these elections are free and fair and send international observers. No importa lo que uno piensa sobre las acciones de Zelaya, si, si la Corte Suprema era correcta o no correcta cuando ellos decidieron que Zelaya violó la Constitución. La realidad es que eso fue la decisión de la Corte Suprema. Ya Zelaya no podía ejecutar sus su poderes como presidente. Ahora tenemos una avenida de escape muy buena. Son las elecciones del domingo 29 de noviembre, ¿por qué los Estados Unidos le va a decir no al pueblo hondureño cuando ellos quieren celebrar elecciones libres y elecciones que están respetadas por la Constitución y por el pueblo? Y también estoy muy en contra del senador, de las acciones del senador Kerry, el congresista Berman, que le han escrito a, a la biblioteca del Congreso diciendo que el reporte no es un reporte eh, correcto. Ellos están incorrectos cuando dicen eso y por eso tengo una carta que le estoy circulando a mis colegas pidiéndole que por favor no debemos manipular el proceso de la biblioteca del Congreso. Muchas gracias. Thank you.